Joseph, Joseph, yes, yes. Joseph, how you doing, Joseph? Yeah, I am doing all right. How you doing? I'm um, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know what number I called. Are you guys down south? Are you down south? Yeah, I'm uh, from Texas. Uh, yeah, that's where I am. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah. Howdy. Well, well, do you do you have like a little bit of time? To, um. I know you wanted to share something with me, but yeah. I want to share something with you. Um, and if, it, if you allow me to, I appreciate it. Well, I, I'm a little bit busy now, but I can give you the opportunity. Okay, sir. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, and I'd just like you to answer me. Can, can we stay on that? Uh, I don't yeah. want to be floating around, so may I ask you some questions? And uh, Sure, sure. I, well, then, yeah. Alright, because I found out something, you, you, are a, you are a Mormon, right? You're a Mormon missionary? Yep. Okay. Uh, well, here goes. Um, if you allow me to pray, would that be okay? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, that's okay, you can pray. Okay. Yeah. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, I come before you, Lord, not through my, not through my power, not through myself, but through your spirit, through your power, Lord. I know um, I can't do anything without you, Father, Jesus Christ, um, the maker of this earth. Um, I pray, Lord, that that you, that you give me wisdom and understanding to uh, talk to this uh, fellow missionary. Um, I pray, Lord, that we can do this with, uh, with, with respect and for your glory and your honor and um, we put before you this conversation and uh, maybe maybe edifying um, because like it says in your word, the truth shall set you free and in John 14, Lord, you said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Uh, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so what, what was your name again, sir? Well, my name is, my name is Joseph, Joseph. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm hard of hearing. I just can't. Okay. Yeah. Well, the first question is: the God you worship was He always God? Well, these are the doctrines that we believe. We have 13 doctrines that um, Joseph Smith, our founder. Our founder uh, Set up but, and but before I'm sorry. I have a lot of questions to ask you. So before yeah. you answer each question, yeah, you can make it as short as possible. Right? Sure, no, no, nah, ain't no problem. Uh, they, they ain't no problem with me. I'm just saying that Joseph uh, Smith. I'm just gonna ask you a question, and if you can answer it, yeah, then, yeah I, I was gonna answer, but you're not letting me answer. I'm saying that Joseph Smith. Our founder and our, and our father, or he, he, he set up three. Uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, 13 uh, articles of faith, and we adhere to those doctrines. We have to adhere to them, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, just here in my notes, we have imagined and supported that God was God from eternity. I will refute that idea and take away the veil so that you may see. That's the teachings of Prophet Joseph Smith, page 345. I, I don't see any problem Dixon. with that. The, the teaching of the Mormon Church well, is... Okay, let me go Let me go for the second question. But, but you, you don't let me answer the question. I'm saying the teaching of the Mormon Church is that the, the Catholic Church and the Protestant movement were all corrupt. And they... Well, well, and, well, and, well, yeah, well you did, I did tell you if I can ask. Well, you're not going to let me act, talk. I don't know what we're going to be doing on the phone. Okay. I don't know. Okay, well, can I, can I give you a second question? Yeah. Okay. Is it, okay. Can I tell you that the Mormons believe Jesus Christ is the spirit brother of Satan? Is that true? Mm -hmm. Uh... They ain't true. They ain't true. Uh, we don't believe that he's the spirit brother of, uh, of Satan at all. We don't teach that. So show me, show me in the Book of Mormons the Doctrine and okay. Covenants of Pearl of Great Price and uh, the the, the Journal Discourses right. where that says that. That's not saying that at all. Here we go. The appointed, the appointed of Jesus be the Savior of the world was con 
tested by one of the other sons of God. He was called Lucifer, son of the morning, mm-hmm. haughty, ambitious, covetous, power and glory. The spirit brother of Jesus desperately tried to become the savior of mankind. It's found, if you want to find that, it's found in Milton R. Hunter, Gospel Through the Ages, page 15. Yeah, but uh, uh, again, try to find that in the Book of Mormon, sir. In the Book of Mormon, it doesn't teach that, and, and, and sir, it doesn't... But Walter, and, 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 the Milton R. Hunter is, is a Mormon gospel through the ages, page 15. Let me go to question number three. Um, they will be reluctant. These guys will be reluctant, according to, more than, according to your teaching. Jesus Christ was a polygamist. These guys teach that. Well, I, I, I'm really, you know, I, well, I, you know, I, 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 is it wrong to be married? Well, tell me in the Bible what it uh, says is wrong to be married. I mean, I, 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 David had a wife, and Abraham had a wife, and 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 and, and, and all these people. Peter had a wife, according to chapter oh. nine of, uh, of of Matthew's gospel. He oh. said his mother-in-law was sick. All these questions is either a yes or no. Do you? No, I'm not gonna say yes or no. I'm, I, I'm gonna answer you according to the Bible. The Bible says that Adam had a wife, that uh, that uh, that uh, that Jonah had a wife, but and also Christ, Abraham had a wife, Christ, and David had a wife, and Jacob had a wife, and Isaac had Rebecca. He was that, that was a but, wife. But was Jesus Christ a polygamist? A, 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 oh, can't even pronounce. You can't even say the word. But see, was Jesus Christ? Polygamist, yes or no? I can't say that he. I, I you know, we we that we can, we we have the doctrine and covenants, pearl of great price, and we have the okay. Book of Mormons, and and that's our official. Teaching, we we don't we ain't gonna teach that, sir. Oh, well, you're teaching. You, I, I, I'll read it to you again. From where? Discover. I discovered that some of the Eastern papers. You discovered that from where? From the internet? I discovered that some of the East. Be careful with the internet. Sir, can I speak, please? I discovered that some of the Eastern papers yeah. represent me as a greater blasphemer because I said in my lecture on marriage at the last conference that Jesus Christ was married at Cana of Galilee, that Mary, Martha, and the other um, were his wives, and he began and he begot children. That sounds, sir, in Orson High Journal of Discourse, Chapter Two. Chapter 2, uh, chapter 2, verse 210. Well, like I said before, the main thing is that you know, the Bible says in a couple of passages in Romans chapter 2, it says in verse 13 that the doers of the law shall be justified. And also in James chapter 2, it says that that uh, that uh, faith without works is dead. Just like the body without the soul is dead, so the works without, you know, faith without dead is, is dead. That's what it says. I mean, I, I'm trying to work for my salvation. I, 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 let me tell you a couple of doctrines from the Mormon church. So can I just please, I gave you, you know, a little bit of time, so please. But I did tell you that. Ah, let me let me say a couple of things. First of all, we believe these doctrines real quick. I can I can you know I can set them right away. Now, we believe that Joseph Smith is the founder of Mormonism of the Mormon Church, and that we believe that he that he received a vision from the angel Moroni Moroni. And uh, we also believe, we believe, and I testify unto you that uh, that uh, the Mormon uh, Book of Mormons, uh, Doctrine of Covenant, the Pearl of Great Price, Journal of Discourses, and, us, and some other writings are the official doctrines of books of the church. And of course, the Bible, as well, this is translated correctly. And so I believe these couple of things, and then I'm going to let you speak. I believe that I can become, well, you know, I, I'm not a God yet, but I believe that I can become a God according to John chapter 10, verse 34. And also, I believe I that I, I, and I, let me just give I you one, let me just give you one doctrine. No, 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 no. And also, I believe that I can be sealed in the temple to many wives. And I, I believe that at the resurrection, I'm going to be finished soon, at the resurrection of the last day, the secret name that was given to me according to the the wives that I married and sealed it got sealed in the temple I'm going to be raising them from the dead 
by calling them by the secret name and they're going to be my wives and, they, and we're going to procreate for all eternity. How about them apples? Okay. So you, you were saying about works and stuff like that and James and yeah. stuff like that. Um, I'm sorry, sir. What'd you say again? You were talking about faith. You were talking. I'm gonna, uh, let me pull up the phone. Cause I can't about, hear that well. I can't hear. Yeah. About faith and, and your prophets and stuff like that. But I'll tell you. I'll tell you this much. Abraham. Abraham. Abraham was the prophet. What do you believe in Abraham? Huh? Abraham. From the Bible. Well, yeah, well, yeah, it depends on what book you're talking about because we believe in the book of Abraham and also we believe in the Bible. And so well, my, you. you my, uh, my Bible, my Bible, Abraham, in Romans chapter 4 says, What yeah. does you would say that Abraham, our father, has found according to the flesh? Yeah. For, Abraham, for Abraham was justified. For if, for if Abraham was yeah. justified by works, he was something of which to boast. Mm. But not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was a court and it was counted to him for righteousness. Mm. Now to him who works, the wages are not counted as grace, but as a mm. debt. But to him who does not work but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith he, his faith is accounted for righteousness. Now can I go back to my questions? No, you can't go back to your question because you're skipping chapter and chapter 2 says very clearly in the scriptures. Now, you believe the Bible, right? Well, if you believe uh, the Bible, it says in chapter 2, verse 13, the doers of the law shall be justified. That's what it says. I don't think we're going to be able to... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, of course you can't be able to speak because the thing is that you want to quit because you know you're wrong and you can't give me the proof in front of, even from the Bible. It says in chapter, wanna, chapter 2, verse 13, it says very clearly... It says very clear, sir, it says this, the doers of the law, Romans chapter 2, verse 13, the doers of the law, did you hang up? Hello? No, I'm here. The doers of the law shall be just, the, the doers of the law shall be justified. That's what it says. Okay, and, and my Bible, in my Bible, yeah, in Ephesians say. chapter 2, mm -hmm. verse 8 and 9, it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man shall boast. For we are his workmanship, made yeah. in Christ Jesus for good works. Yeah, and the God good works is the aprons. Which God, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So where we saved, we're saved through grace. Well, I'm going to go ahead and read chapter 13, uh, verse 9, me, verse 9 of Romans. What does you, that say? Let me give you, let me give you, two, let me give you one more. Yeah. Titus chapter 3 and verse 5. And after that, if we can go back to the questions, I appreciate it. All right. Titus, Titus 3, 5 says, Not by works of righteousness we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. Well, the yeah. washing, to the washing and regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, right. The renewing of the Holy Spirit. Right. And what else you want to talk to me about, sir? You know, what, what else you want to... Yeah. Acts, Acts 15, verse 11. You see now? Who? Now, now Acts 15, verse, verse 11. Give me 16 one. or 15? Which one? Acts 15, verse 11. So we believe 16. that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved in the same manner as they... All right. Anyway, can we go back to the questions, please? Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. I'm sorry, I, this is like really stressful on my part. Um, well, you gotta be kind and loving. I mean, you're a Christian. You're supposed to be loving and kind. You have supposed I am, to be the law. Like, I called you and I, I... And it says that Jesus Christ said that it's, 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 it, 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 that we fulfill our righteousness. It says that in chapter 3 of Matthew. Is, you know, it behooves us to fulfill our righteousness. We have to fulfill the law. And we have in the Mormon church over 4,000 commandments. And I, I, I testify unto you, and don't tell anybody this, but I feel very heavy burdened to keep these commandments because there's a lot of suicide in, in our church. But we, we have to go on, you know, so... Hello? You know, all right. Uh, well, 
I, I hear you, I, I hear you, I hear you, I, and I hear I you. I mean, I have a lot of burdens, sir. I have to keep all these commandments, and I have to wear these aprons, and, 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 and somebody told me that these aprons have satanic signs, and, 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 the, and only 20 or 30 percent of us go into the secret witch rituals of the Mormon church, sir, and I'm kind of, I'm, you know, I, I read the Bible, and it's, it's, it's I, 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 I see that it's contradicting, the, you know, the, you know, the, well, but well, but anyway, can I can I continue with these questions, sir? Yeah, you can continue so, all you want. Thank you, thank you. Because you are a missionary, and these are the, the things that I'm telling you. These are some of the things that you, that you refuse to tell people when you witness to them. Now, on the teachings of Adam, was Adam really God and the only God in whom we have to do? Well, it says in the Bible, and the Bible tells me so, it says to me, ye are gods. That's what it says. Jesus said in uh, chapter 10 of John's Gospel, it says, verse 34, ye are gods. That's what it says. I mean, I don't know what's the problem. Why are you saying that you, you're not a, you can't be a god? I mean, you know, I mean, uh, you know, isn't it written, ye are gods? That's, you know, chapter 10, verse 34. Uh, you know, I know, I know That's from the Lord Jesus Christ himself. These guys, these guys, you know. guys, what guys? We're doing the Mormon church. You know how good, you know, Donnie and Marie, we, 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 we are the Mormon church. We are, you know, I mean, we, we are very respected. We owe property, even in Hawaii. I mean, we, 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 what do you do? Well, let me teach you, let me tell you exactly what your, what your doctrine teaches. When our father... Hey, my doctrine, that's the char doctrine of the Mormon church. When our father Abraham came into the Garden of Eden, he came into it with a celestial body and brought Eve, one of his wives, with him. He helped to make it and organize this world. Yeah. He, he is Michael, the archangel, the ancient of days, about whom holy men have written and spoke. He is, is our father and God and the only God whom we have to do. Bring him young, journal discourse, chapter 1, verse 50. So who is God? Is Adam God? Is Jesus God? Well, we God, believed in that trinity. God. We believe in... And can you become a God? Well, I, that's what the Mormon church teaches. Okay, so you're contradicting yourself. Look, 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 look how... Look. How am I contradicting myself? I mean, you know, it says that we, you shall... You, how you guys... You are God. That's what it says. Look how you guys can contradict yourself. It says here... You guys, listen, you believe you're being a little bit disrespectful, so I might have to hang up on you, son. This is coming from the, um, the journal of discourse, chapter 4, verse 1. It says, I have learned by experience that there is but one God that pertains to his people and he is the God that pertains to this earth, the first man. The first man sent his own son to redeem the world. And that's on the Herbert C. Campbell Journal of Discourse. Listen, he, he put that in conjunction with 1 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 5. There are many gods and many lords. That's what it said. Read it. Read it. Read it. Okay. Well, let me, let me, let me go. Read, go. No, don't do that. Read chapter, uh, what is it? First Corinthians chapter 8, verse 5. Go ahead and read it. It says that there are many lords and many gods. That's what it says. And, and, didn't, and didn't, didn't God say to Moses in Exodus chapter 7, verse 1, I'm going to make you a god unto Pharaoh. That's what it says. I'm going to make you a god unto Pharaoh. So Moses was a god. That's what it says. That's what it says. It says in Exodus chapter 7, verse 1, I'm going to make you a god unto Pharaoh. That's what it says. Well, what are you trying to tell me on these, these strange teachings? Do you know, do you know, do you know the I know a lot of things. Do you know the Ten Commandments? Yeah, I know the Ten Commandments. Do you keep them? What is, what is the first commandment, sir? Um, I have to look it up. I, I really don't know it offhand. I have to read it. I think it's in, uh, I think it's in Exodus chapter 20. So let me just, I mean, I don't have it memorized. What do you think, I'm a computer, son? No, I'm a, you know, I'm an old man. I can't remember all these teachings. Okay, what is Exodus chapter 20? Well, you read it. If you're right there, you read it to me. 
You know, the Mormon church doesn't teach me all these things. We have some set lessons that if you're in Italy or in, in Spain or in, or, in, or, in, or, in, or in Germany or in... Right. Uh, our, we have the same lessons every, every, every week. Yeah. Every, every, you know, we don't get taught a lot. I'll read it to you, but please, let's just stick with the questions after this, okay? Yeah. It's next year, it's next year, it's next year, it's next year it's in Exodus chapter 20, verse 1, it says, You shall have no other gods before me. Yeah, but that's just talking about idols, wood and stone, and and, 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 and and didn't Jeremiah in chapter 10 say that they were making some, some gods out of some, I don't know, a tree, I don't know what it was. And then, you know, that's just saying that, 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 that that's just saying that you can't have, make, you know, a lot, that you can't make a, a, a god out of gold. Remember they made a golden calf and everything like that, and uh, uh, we ain't doing that. We ain't having no idols. We don't have an idol in the church. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. We should have no other gods before me. That's what it says. There's no silver, stone, and any, we don't have that. We don't have any gods. I can refute that. But anyway, I anyway, want to go what? Question because we can we can stay with this thing and. Oh uh, yeah, you want to go because you can't prove that 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 well. I mean, you did prove that we can't work for our salvation, but the gods, I mean, you know, I, 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 uh, listen, what are you trying to tell me? You know, I, I, I can try to keep these commandments at over 4,000. I'm very, very heavy burden, and and I don't know if all these things are true, what you're saying, but I mean, you know, I want to I wanna learn. I, I want to be humble. I want to be, uh, I want to, I, I want to please God. I don't hate God. I, want, I think that, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, can you tell me something about Joseph Smith's life that will kind of convince me that he was a false prophet? I, I'm willing to learn. Well, sir, if, if you allow me to ask. I am allowing you. Say nothing. Okay. Well, you're the one that's speaking, and I'm being polite, and I'm just basically making, letting you talk. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I can't hear that well, so I'm sorry. I don't mean to speak loud. I'm an old man. Okay. Hello? Are you, are you ready, sir? Yeah. Okay. The Book of Mormon, does it, does it fail to contain any Mormon doctrine? Yes or no? The Book of Mormon, does it contain Mormonism? Yeah. I mean, listen, we have received, I mean, I'm not going to give you a long answer, but we, it's, it's a progression of revelation. We believe that the Book of Mormons was uh, was given to us by God, and that we received, you know, by Joseph Smith, and uh, there was other revelations. There was uh, there was a rev just you know, like do you know, do you know, just like there was a Book of Galatians, a Book of Ephesians, a Book of you know, you know that, and, and that's how it is. Mormon, do you know that the Book of Mormon contradicts itself? You show me where. Show me where. Okay. All right. Again, it'll be a long conversation. Let me yeah, ask. no, I, I'm gonna let you finish. But I want to learn. I, I want to be humble. There, I don't want to continue there, in something there, that's no no good. I, but you have to let me there, know. There are secret temple ceremonies which, until April 1990, portrayed Christian ministers as hirelings of Satan. Well, sir, you know I really don't know about. Or 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 are you wearing an underwear which will actually you know protect you? Well, I mean, you know, they, they say that uh, these underwears are our aprons, and that's according to chapter uh, chapter 3, verse 7 of the book of Genesis, that uh, Adam and Eve, they made these aprons, they made themselves uh, aprons for themselves, you know, to cover themselves, because they knew that they were naked before the living God. Now, was Jesus conceived by way of sexual relationship between God and Mary? Well, that's what the Mormon, uh, that, that, that's what the book, well, that's what, I mean, uh, I think that's from, uh, I, 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 I forgot what it says, but I think that there's some kind of a teaching in the Mormon church, but I got confused because the thing is that I saw Luke 135, and it says that uh, the power, uh, what does it say over there, verse 35, it says that, uh, the the, uh, the Almighty shall overshadow you or something like that. So, I mean, uh, that's a strange that's, teaching. I, I, listen, I was a Baptist, you understand? It's hard. No, let me speak. I, I don't want to be interrupted. I was a... Because if that's... The, no, wait, 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 wait. I was a... That's the case, then Jesus was born um, in, 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 in sin. If, if there was a sexual encounter, that means Jesus was born in sin, and that means that 
Wow. We ask Christians, we're all, we're all going to be in sin because every person that's born naturally is born of sin. But Jesus was... Yeah, but we don't teach that, sir. We believe that when Adam fell, he fell upwards, not downwards like you teach. We believe, and that's why I left the Baptist church, because, you know, they were making... Sh they were making... Oh, well, well, let me, well, let me ask Adam fell Bible. upwards, up, 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 up. up. Bible, is, is the Bible for real or is it corrupt? Well, I mean, you know, there are some translations that are wrong. There are some translations of the Bible that are absolutely wrong, and that's why there's so many translations of the Bible. There's for about almost 500 translations of the Bible. Look what, look what. 500. Look, look, look what. I lost count. Look what Joseph, look what your leader Joseph Smith said. Yeah. I believe the, I believe the Bible as it is, as it is as it reads when it came from the pen of the original writers, ignorant translators, careless transcribers, or designed and corrupt priests have committed many errors. Well, no. I mean, you know, let's get to something else, sir. I mean, I, I don't want to stay with that. I mean, let, let's go to, the, you know, blood atonement. I believe that we, we, you know, blood atonement is very important in the church, and I believe that we're going to be saved. That's what I believe. You know, I mean, you're giving me some of these doctrines. They're not, I mean, they're important doctrines, but, I mean, let's get to the nitty-gritty. The nitty-gritty is that I believe in blood atonement. That's what I believe. Well, you know what? Yeah? I use Mormons believe Christian terms with Mormon, with Mormon meanings. Well, yeah, we believe in salvation. We believe that Jesus is God. We believe in the Trinity. We believe in Brother Coleman. We believe in baptism, too. Bat look at that. We believe in eternal life. We believe in the kingdom of God. What else you want me to believe? Well, let me give you an example how... You ain't giving me nothing. How Mormons, how Mormons use Christian terms as Mormon meanings. Let me give you an example. Hello, what did you say again? I can't hear that well, huh? Let, let me give you an example on how Mormons... You can give me two examples, I don't care. Christian terms with, morning, with Mormon meanings. Mor Mormon who? Okay. You can uh, hear me out. I'm trying to hear, I can't hear, can you understand? I can't hear that well, I can't hear. You gotta speak a little louder. Mormons, Mormons, Mormons use Christian terms with Mormon meanings. Let me give you an example. All right. A Mormon would probably agree with you that a person must be born again. Yeah, we, 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 yeah. I mean, Jesus said it two times in the book of John chapter 3. To a Mormon, however, born again is a process which begins with the water baptism. Well, another, doesn't it say in chapter 16 another, of Mark that you have to be baptized and in chapter 2 of Acts, it has to say, be baptized and wash away I'm your sins? I'm going to give you the second example, sir. Right. I'm not here to argue. All right, well, I'm arguing because you, 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 you. The words, the word salvation, okay? Yeah, what about it? Which are synonymous with the Christian mind. However, general salvation in the Mormon merely means the resurrection which everyone in the world will receive at death. I told you that when I get sealed in the, when I was sealed in the temple, speaking about the resurrection, I know the, see, I was given a secret name, all right, I can't tell you my name, my secret name, that's the last hidden, that's the, 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 only my wives know my name, and I know the, the, I know each name, secret name that was given to me of all them wives that I married and said I was sealed in the temple, and when, in the resurrection of the dead, I am going to, by my knowing their name, I'm going to call them out, and they're going to be resurrected. And I believe in this, and then I'll let you speak. I, 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 I believe that in three, in three kingdoms, the celestial kingdom, the terrestrial kingdom, and the celestial kingdom, and, and I believe that I'm going to make it to the celestial kingdom with my wives, and I'm going to procreate for all eternity. Well, you That's what I believe. You know, well, you're talking about the celestial kingdom. Let me tell you something that you guys don't teach about. So, uh, about when it comes to um, the highest, the highest heaven, it says here. All right, that's the celestial kingdom. Oh, what about it? You won't, you won't tell us in order to gain entrance into the highest form of form in heaven, the celestial kingdom. Yeah, the celestial you must, kingdom. You must, you must accept Joseph Smith Jr. as a prophet of God. 
faith in Jesus alone, Mormon teachers will force you to spend eternity in the form of heaven. So in other words, if you believe in Jesus, you're not going to go to that big and great... Listen, we believe in Jesus. ...the celestial we kingdom that you guys believe. So, so you guys give more credit. I'm sorry. You guys give more credit to Joseph Smith than you do... Listen, can uh, you please, died, can died you died on the cross for that us. That is not true, sir, because that we is, believe that, is, that Jesus that is, is God. We believe even even is, Joseph Smith is not greater than Adam, our father. He's not even Gary greater than he well, let me is. Give you, well, let me give you... That's what the Mormon church teaches. Well, let me, well, let me give you a saying with the... Give me two sayings if you want. Let me give you a saying, and you can find that. Look, it says... I got the Mormon book right here. I got the book. I have the book. I have it right here in front of my. I mean, I mean, it's not here, sir, but I mean, sir, let me get it right sir. here. I'm giving you. I'm giving you something, and I'm telling you where it's written. Yeah. Tenth LDS President Joseph Fielder Smith stated in his book Doctrine of Salvation yeah. that there is no salvation without accepting Joseph Smith. The word, the word salvation used in this context must really mean exaltation because the former Mormon apostle Bruce R. McKinley stated in his Book of Mormon Doctrine that general salvation is given to everyone regardless of his belief. Personal salvation or exaltation to the high form of Mormon heaven comes only by accepting Joseph Smith as a prophet of God. Yeah, we believe in the laws and by following the laws of LDS. Well, we we believe that's only oh, my Bible. You know what my Bible? That's only my Bible. My Bible says in John chapter 14, sir. Yeah. And I'm sorry that I'm getting a little annoyed, but it says. Yeah, well, don't be annoyed. You have to be in and say the things in love. 14. It says you in gotta do. 14 verse 6. It says here John 14. I think you're scaring your children over there too. You gotta lower it down. I mean, I don't know. It says Jesus said to him, yeah. uh, "You must follow Joseph Smith." Is that what it says? Well, I say again. Does it say in John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said to him, you must follow Joseph Smith? Is, is that what it says? I don't have the Bible in front of me. What do you think I'm a, I'm, what do you think I'm a machine? Oh, no, it doesn't say that. It says, it says in John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one, no one, no Mormons, no Jehovah's Witnesses, no one comes to the Father except through me. Wow. Well, except through me. Well, it does say that. I mean, you know, but the thing is, you ha you haven't told me. Look, I look. I'm willing. To, I was a Baptist. You understand? When I went to the Mormon. Oh, that church, when, you know, well, wait a minute for a second. I mean, well, you gotta respect you, your. You gotta respect. Wait. You gotta respect but, your elders. I'm an elder. You understand? I can't hear that well. You have to. You can't talk over me and all that. I want to say something real quick. Well, let me. No, wait. I want to say this, and I, I hope that you don't interrupt. I can't hear. That. Well, I got a hearing aid. I can't hear. Go ahead, sir. Now, well, I, I, now I lost my place. I don't even know what I was doing. See, you, you upset me. Um. Oh yeah, it's in Mark. Some yeah, Mark's Gospel, <laughs> and it says over there, whoever is baptize and believes he shall be saved that's what it said black and white no actually it's in red it's jesus said that that's what it says i'm gonna find it right here something i know the verse let me see i mean hello yeah i'm listening oh i thought you hung up uh matthew's gospel uh, let me see 16 chapters of mark i'm in chapter 5 <laughs> chapter 9 Chapter chapter nine again. Um, just say something while I'm turning the pages, sir. No, 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 it's okay. You know, I don't know. I'm I'm, slow, I'm elderly. I'm kind of slow. I I have arthritis. I can't. Well, you know. You know. Well, as you, as you look into it, it says you look in Joseph Smith. Mm -hmm. Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith. Yeah. What about him? Made many false prophets. Prophecies, which according to the Bible will classify him as a false prophet. Listen. Look what it says. Look what it says in Deuteronomy 13. Yeah, all right. Um, well, I'm in Mark. I can't look right now. I got to trust you and see. Well, I'm going to read it. I'm going I'm to read it. You should walk after the Lord your God and fear Him and keep His commandments. Yeah. His voice. And you should serve Him and hold fast to Him. 
But the prophet or the dreamer of dreams, you should put to death because he has spoken in order to turn you away from the Lord your God and brought you out from the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of bondage to entice you from the way in which the Lord your God commanded you to walk. So then you should put away the evil in your midst. If your brother or son or your wife, anyway, basically, you know, you're the, 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 the prophet said. Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you this verse. And can you please tell me something that Joseph Smith did wrong in his life that will convince me that he was not a prophet? Because I have to know his character. I have to know what he you know, did. You know, is it you true? Know, is it true that he got arrested? You know, because I want to know that. But before... You know Joseph Smith? Sir, you interrupt the right here. Now, I want to read this. Of light, so an angel of light. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. listen. And, and you know what let my me, Bible says when it says about angels of light? Listen, let so me. Look what it says in Galatians. Okay, no, no, I know, but, but let me. It says in Galatians chapter 1. And, 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 and in verse 8. Did you say angel of light? What you're saying there? You're talking about Moroni? Moroni? He saw Moroni, correct. Yeah, he saw an angel of light. What about, what about it? Look, but look what it says in verse 8. It says... Hey, verse 8 of what? But even... What chapter? No, what book are you on? What verse? What your... Galatians chapter... I, I told you, but I guess you're not listening. No, I can't hear that well, sir. Don't insult me. Okay, Galatians chapter 1. All right. But even... If we... No, chapter 1, verse what? Chapter 1, verse 8. All right. Galatians chapter 1, verse 8. It says, But even if we are an angel from heaven, preach another gospel to you, yeah. then what we have preached to you, let him be accursed. Well, what's the Greek word for accursed? What's the Greek word? Well, you tell me, since you know everything. Well, all right, the Greek word is anathema. That means eternally damned. But what did it have to do with oh. Joseph Smith? Okay, let me tell you. For instance, in 1835, yeah. Joseph Smith claimed that the Lord will again come in just 56 years. He would gather from his pro he would gather from this prophecy that Jesus Christ will again come to the earth on the before. Uh, 1891. No doubt, Joseph Smith was incorrect. History of the Church, chapter 2, verse 182. Yeah, but uh, didn't Harold Camp from uh, Family Radio say that he was going to come back in 1994, and then I think it was in 2011 or 2012, and he didn't come either. The temple in the Independence, Missouri, according to section 84, verse 4 and 5 of the document. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, you got to repeat that. What you saying? He stated this. Temples shall be... No, no, no. Uh, can you please let me know where, where again? So very, I don't know. What you, I ain't here yet. The way until a house should be built unto the Lord. Sir, can you please let me know where you're reading from? This day, the spot concentrate, consecrated by Smith fails to be the site of a great temple. Sir, can you please let me well, know where does that say, where does it say that? It does not even own this land. So what am I telling you? Uh, I think I'm going to hang up on you, sir, but you're not listening. You, you can, can you please let me know where is that stated in the Mormon documents? Where is it at? What book? What chapter? What? According to section 84, verse 4 and 5, Doctrine of Covenants. All right. Okay, and then and then it, it says history of the church, yeah. chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 182. Mm -hmm. Everything I'm telling you, it's documented. All right, well, you know, I nor, mean, you know. He, nor, he, he, nor, your LDL's church documented, so your church is sort of like falling down. Well, but the Jehovah Witnesses are worse than us. I mean, they, they, they prophesied 1914, 1925, 1941, and 1975. They got it wrong all the time. We only did it once. <coughs> and Harold Camping, uh, president from Family Radio, he got it wrong too in 1994. And then he did it in 2011 again, something like that. I don't know. I, I, I don't even. Uh, I, I, I mean, you know. I, but anyway, you're right about that. But I think. You, I think. I think. I think you shouldn't worry about them. I think you guys should worry. About, I think you should worry about yourself. All right. Listen. I know you have to go. So I, I, I have to think, just. Can you? Okay. I'm gonna give you a verse on the Bible, okay. and then please oh. tell me about the character of Joseph Smith. And I want to know something about if he did something wrong in his life. And if he did, well, then I can't trust a man like that. But I got to tell you something like this. Yeah. Now, 
It says uh, in chapter 16 and verse 15 of Mark's gospel, and this is the word of God. This ain't something else. This is the word of God. It says over here in chapter 16, verse 15, it says this, quote, And he said unto them, oh, no, wait a minute. That's the wrong verse. Um, wait for a second. Now, see, you got me confused. Oh, okay, it's chapter 16, verse 16. It says something like this, quote, And he that believeth and is, check this out. This is a heavy one. Check it out. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. How about them apples? I have to get baptized in the Mormon church, and I believe that my blood is going to be converted into the blood of the Jews, because all of y'all are all Gentiles. We believe that we are the true Jews, and we believe when we're, when we're baptized, and this is what the Mormon church teaches. Hello? Hello? We believe that my blood, I believe that my blood, when I got baptized in the Mormon church, I believe that my blood was transformed into the blood of the Jews. And that's how I was saved. Now, yeah, I mean, you know, that's how it is. Doesn't it say we have to be grafted into the, to the, to, doesn't it say in Romans chapter 11 we were grafted in? Ah, how about them apples? Hello? Well, well, let me tell you. Now, I know you're about to quit because, you see, you're a B.I. No, no. Now, tell me something about Joseph Smith's life. I want to know about his life. Let me know what he did wrong. And if I get information what he did wrong, then I'm, I'll leave. I'll leave the Mormon church. But you didn't tell me nothing that he did wrong. Nothing. You're going all over the place. I'm, I'm just trying. I told you when I, when I read that verse, I told you that you have to let me know what the man did wrong. And if you let me know what he did wrong in his life, I might look. Look at it, and I might, I might repent from the Mormon church, but you didn't tell me anything okay. that he did. Okay. You saying that All Joseph right. Smith is this and we, that and this and that, and he ain't doing nothing wrong in his life. Just let's just say he was a faithful man, Emma. Emma Smith, he was. He, I mean, uh, he was very faithful to his wife for a little while, anyway. You're, you're, sir, you're all over the place. If you allow me to speak, I can speak. No, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I get a little but, excited. I'm a little old. You're talking. You're talking about the blood. You're talking about the baptism of regeneration, which that's what you believe, correct? Yeah, I believe that my blood was converted to the blood of the Jews. Okay. That's what I believe. So here it goes, look. Here it goes what? I'm going to read you something. The word... I, I want to... All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I give up. The word regeneration is found in two places only in the New Testament, namely in Matthew chapter 19, verse verse 28, yeah. Titus 3, 5. So let's no. go to Matthew 19. Let's go to Matthew. Let's go to Matthew chapter 19, verse 28. Yes, go to it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Matthew, Matthew 19, verse 28. Verse Matthew 19, verse 28. Yeah, I'm waiting. Go ahead. It says here. So Jesus said to them, "Surely I say to you that in this regeneration, when the Son of Man sits on the throne of His glory." You who have followed me, not Joseph Smith, not Abe, not Brigham Young, not the other false prophets, will also sit on the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. That is beautiful, sir. Yeah, but that doesn't say me, that Joseph Smith is me, not going to be me, there. And we believe, and I'm just going to say that, I mean, real, like, let maybe... Let me give you but, another one of regeneration. Man. Titus 3.5. Titus You already 3, said that. Titus 3.5, but I love to repeat it. Right. By works of righteousness. You, you, again, you go to baptism, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us through the washing and regeneration. Well, uh, you know, I ain't Renewing of Joseph Smith, no, and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but I ain't talking about Joseph Smith. I'm talking about baptism. But, it doesn't it say in chapter I, 2 that, wait a minute, don't interrupt oh. me. I can't take it anymore. I'm only in the sand. It 
this is in chapter two. Let me, I mean, let me calm down. Wait for a second. This says in chapter two, and uh, it says in the Acts of the Apostles, it says over there, be ye baptized for the forgiveness oh, of your oh, sins. Ha! Right there, what are you going to do about that? Oh, sir. Wait. Oh, what do you mean, sir? Jesus. When Nicodemus, when Nicodemus, when ah, Nicodemus, Nicodemus and John, in John 3.3. 3, 3, yeah, what about him? 3, 5, it says, except a man be born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Well, there you go, water. <laughs> it's water. water. Check this out. Check this out. Yeah, well, what about it? It says water, huh? Water, if you let me speak, sir. Yeah, let you speak. By water, he meant baptism. It means that not a single soul can be saved unless baptized, correct? And listen, I'm confused. Let's go to something. Now, I told you that I want to know. I want to know. I, okay, I'll give you that. I mean, you, listen, you want me to say that you want the conversation? Okay, fine. I want to know what Joseph Smith... Wait a minute. I respect your elders. Respect. With the thief on the cross. Remember listen. The cross, when, when, when he said... Uh, Say what? What? You know, what? What? To Jesus, remember me. And what did Jesus say? Hey, Jesus, hey, hey, Jesus, hey, Jesus said. Jesus said. Uh, wait. Jesus said. Jesus. Jesus said what? Jesus said, "Today you will be with me in paradise, sir." Well, I mean, that's an exception, not the rule. I mean, he couldn't get out of the cross, and he couldn't. Uh, what do you want? You want him to do? The guy was dying, dying. You understand? <laughs> That's what he was doing. He was a year like that. What you want to pull his nails off his hands and his feet? And uh, why? Why you trying to listen? I'm an elderly man. I can't take this. I'm gonna have a heart attack. In John chapter four, verse two. No, no, no. What do you want him to do? Right. Pull the nails off his hand? What do you want him to do? I want to know what Joseph Smith did. You understand, son? I want to know what Joseph Smith did in his life. Tell me anything he did wrong. Then I'll accept you. But you're not telling me that. Hello? Sir, uh, 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 what? Joseph, Joseph Smith passed away. Joseph Smith, I'm sorry to tell you, is in hell. Wait a minute, you can't tell, he's going to be, at, listen, he's going to be one of your judges at the judgment seat, that actually it's a judgment table, he's going to be there, Jesus is going to be, and Elohim is going to be there. You didn't tell me not one bloody dime, you didn't tell me what he did wrong in his life. If you do that, I might think it over. Sir. Sir, what? Listen to this. I'm listening to nothing. You ain't telling me nothing. You're too young. You're a novice. You don't know nothing. You're, you're, I don't know what you are. I mean, I, I, listen, I want to know. I, let me calm down. Let me breathe. I want to know this. I want to know what Joseph Smith did in his life. You ain't telling me nothing. Nothing. You understand? You can't hear? I'm the one that's supposed to be deaf, not you. Okay. Here I go. Here I go, why are you listening to nothing? Joseph Smith Jr. Yeah, that's his name, go ahead. Was fascinated with the occult. Do you think God would use a man that gets, that gets... Okay, give me, give me proof. Give me proof. I don't want to hear that. Give me documentation. Give me facts. I'm giving you documentation now, okay? And then from there, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to let you go. All right, let me go all you want. I don't the care. Mormon, Mormon scholar D, Michael Quinn. Has every Michael time. Quinn? Who's he? I don't know Michael Mormon, Quinn. Mormon, That's not an official Mormon, doctrine of the church. Mormon scholar D, look him up. Mormon scholar D, Michael Quinn, has carefully documented that Smith was influenced by culture of his day, particularly by, the, by his immediate family. His father and uncle both used divine rods. Woman walked in waters was likely, likely the individual who, who introduced Joseph Smith to using the spear stone for the pretense of discovering treasures. The Palmyra reflector dubbed as Waters in Walter the Magician was operated by the use of familiar spirits using instruments of witchcraft such as staff toad. Wait a minute, wait a minute, no. witchcraft? And the steer stone. Once again, you can you can look up Mormon scholar D. Michael Quinn. 
All right, I'll look it up, but, you know, I, I don't like that word witchcraft. What do you think? I mean, I, what do you, I mean, you know. Um, all right, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm sorry, go ahead. I did promise if you say something about Joseph Smith, now I'm going to listen. So I'm a little shocked about all this, that he was, a, you know, I mean, I, can, I can't take this. I'm too old. I don't know if I'm around. Hello? Well, sir, yeah, I'm gonna, I, 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 I don't have to go on. I'm just telling you that... Yeah, no, I'm sorry to interrupt. It, I mean, I, 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 you know, you give me... A warlock and a warlock in and, 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 and the Old Testament. It's an abomination and your whole, your whole congregation, your whole latitude. Listen, I want to ask you something. Is, is, is it true that, um, because I want you to, you know, I want you to help me out of the Mormon church because I, if he's a witch, I can't, I can't be faithful to Joseph Smith. Yeah. I mean, well, and I think in Isaiah, I, I really got to let you go. I think in, wait a minute, just real, real quick in about 10 seconds. I think in Isaiah chapter 29, verse 4, I think that the Mormon church uses that, um, that, you know, um, some kind of like, uh, you know, that it was a prophecy of the, of the Mormon church, of the, of the Mormon the book of Mormon. So, I mean, but that's, 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 that, that, the Hebrew word there, um, uh, Obi or Ab means, um, 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 it means a witchcraft. So, I mean, if that's a prophecy of the Mormon church, I, I you know, pray for me. I mean, please, I don't, I don't know, sir. please pray for me. I don't want to be in the Mormon church if he was a witch. I think, I think you know more than, than, than I do, sir, because, um, you know, I don't, I, you know, I'm just, please, please pray for, can you pray for me, please? I'm an old man. I'm afraid to die. Do you understand? I don't want to die. I don't want to see. I mean, I don't want to be, and I don't want to experience the wrath of God. I mean, you know, but how can I be saved? Before you hang up on me, tell me, how can I be saved? How? How? Hello? Yes. Jesus said very simply in John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him, not prophets, not false prophets, not the church, but believes in him shall not perish but have the blessed life. Do you believe that? In Romans 10, 9, it says, in Romans 10, 9, it says, give me one second. In Romans 10, 9, it says, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. First John one nine. First John one nine. First John one nine says if we confess if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Um, I really don't know what to tell you, but I go back to John chapter 14. Okay. Uh, give me one second, sir. Uh, my wife's calling me. Give me one second. John 14, it says, in John 14, it says, um, just Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And I know I'm giving you a lot of scriptures, sir, but scriptures break down the walls of, of Satan, bring, bring things down the walls of, 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 of Lucifer. Jesus answered it and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And I'll give you one more, and, and I'll just leave you with that. In John chapter 1, verse 12, it says, But as many as received them, to them he gave right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. They were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So we really need to open up. You, you sir, need to open up your heart 
Now, allow God to control you, not your church, not Joseph Smith, and not your false teaching. Well, listen, sir, I know you have to go, so I promise I'm just going to ask you one more quick question, and it's not all right with you, and then you can let me go? <laughs> I mean, I promise, one more quick question. And just, and, just, and just one last thing, and just one last Yeah, but can I ask the question and I'll let you go? No. I know you have to go yeah. to work. I know, you asked me about salvation. No, 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 I just want to... In Acts, in Acts chapter 4, verse 12, it says, For there is no other name in heaven besides Jesus given for, for you know, man to be saved. That, and there's no other, man, there's no other name given uh, under heaven that we'll be able, whereby we must be saved. I know that verse, but... I, I want to ask you just one more question. I know you have to go to work, so I'm going to let you go. I want to know if this is true or not, and just say yes or no, and then, you know, I know you have to go to work, so I'm going to let you go. And uh, is it true that Joseph Smith uh, ha made an illegal bank in, uh, I forgot the year, but uh, he made an illegal bank in Kirtland, Ohio, I think it's K-I-R-T-L-A-N-D, Ohio, and he was arrested and tried. Is that true? And then with that, I'll let you go, and please pray for the well, Mormon church. Well, well. Is that true or not? Well. That's what I want to know. Well. Where did you get, where did you get that information? My, I, I read it someplace. You know, I can't, you know, I can't reveal my sources because I, I know this is going to be online. I can't, you know, I can't betray the Mormon church. You, you understand? You, you know, you, you, sir, I'm sorry, but you, you're so concerned about Joseph Smith, Joseph Smith. No, I'm telling you, it's not true, because then I'll look at the information, then I, now I'm going to leave the church. I'll leave the Mormon church, but is that true or not? I know that you're a little bit of a scholar, so I... Uh, I want to know, is it true that Joseph Smith made an illegal bank? Can you please tell me yes or no? That, that, that is correct. Wow. Not only, not only was he um, a warlock, I'm sorry to say. Listen. Not only was he a 33-degree mason, uh, not only did he um, create a, a false bank, but... But the Mormons teach that um, that he died for his faith, and he had a gun. And, and why are you saying that he died with a gun in his hand? Is that what you're trying to say? Ten, yes, he died. He died with a gun in his hand, supposedly. The well, how did he die in the, with a gun in his hand? What happened? What happened? But, but let me let me just. No, 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 no. Let me know what happened to Joseph Smith. How did he die with a gun in his hand? How? 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 You you just so so much involved with Joseph Smith, Joseph Smith. You gotta go with Jesus, 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 Jesus. You sound like, like a broken record. That's what you sound like. Well, listen, I'm gonna have to let you go, sir, because I I need I, I I'm an elderly man. I'm retired and I can't. I don't have the strength to argue with you, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna. I, I'm going to look at the information, and I, I know this is going to be online, and I, and, 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 um, listen, I, 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 I want you to pray for me, pray for the Mormon church, and, 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 and if Joseph Smith was a criminal, like you say, I mean, I can't believe it, but I can't, I mean, I can't argue with facts. I can't argue with them. Please pray for me. I mean, I'm scared. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to. You understand? Yeah, no, I, 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 I hear you, sir, but, um... But what? But, you know, there's a lot of people that are committing suicide um, in, in no, your... No, no, I, I, feel, I feel like that also because I can't take it any longer. I, I got to keep all these no. commandments and, 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 and ordinances of the church. I got to wear this underwear and I, I can't even clean it. I can't. I have to wear this underwear day and night. It's going to be my apron for all eternity. I mean, I can't, I can't wear this stuff. I mean, I have to go. I certainly, listen, I got to let you go. Well... Sir, I'll be praying for you because I know that if you leave the church, um, you will be excommunicated. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, you know, I, 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 
uh, you know, people might lose their jobs, sir. You don't understand. Some employers might be Mormons and, 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 and uh, they, they might lose their job. What do you think? It's easy to find a job? You know, you know, you, need, you know, I mean, I like Obama, but the thing is, it's hard. This is hard times, sir. It's hard. Well, sir, I'm going to let you go. I know you have to go to work. Goodbye. Well, sir, um... Hello? No, yeah, no, I just, I just feel so bad, um... Uh, I mean, I'm, you know. Believe in you, believe in you, but I'm, I'm going to leave you. Now, you, now you're saying that I'm not going to be married to all my wives? You know how many wives? I have over 200 I wives. Believe you would. Okay. I mean, I've been sealed in the temple to over 200 wives. It's, it's bad enough having one oh, wife. I have 200 wives. I mean, I, I, I you know. How long have you been? How long have you been a Mormon for? How long? Well, I've been a Mormon all my life. I mean, well, not all my life because I was a Baptist and then I left the Baptist church, and then I mean, I, I think oh. I made a mistake because I mean, all these things you're telling me about the Mormon. I mean. <laughs> okay, how long have you been a Mormon? Well, I, I've been a Mormon for about. Maybe, uh, maybe 25 years. I mean, I can't remember. Remember, I'm an old man. No, what do you expect from an elderly person? I can't remember. I ain't young like you. Five years, in 25 years, have you have you been sincerely faithful in tithing? Well, I mean, you know, I lost my job, and then I mean, before I was retired, I mean, I couldn't get. What do you want me? What do you want me to do? Steal? Okay, so you weren't faithful in tithing, right? Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that, but I mean, according to the Mormon Church, you have to give, you know, a large percentage. You have to so, give. So, what your church states that that if you're not oh, here we go again. If you're not faithful, if you're not faithful in giving in your tithe, you will not make it up to the um, the top celestial kingdom. Well, you know, what are you going to do? And then I can't have my wives. I mean, you know, the only way I can have my wives is to be in the celestial kingdom. Uh, you know, I mean, if I can't have them, I can't have them. I don't care. I mean, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Now pray for me. I want you to pray. That's what I want you to do. I want you to pray for me, son, because I can't take it any longer. These all these ordinances and commandments, there's over four, that's almost 5,000 commandments that I have to keep. I mean, I can't do it. I'm oh. burdened. No, sir, no. Well, I know you have to go, but, you know, I, I you know, I have to just say i got to get it off my chest. But I can't get it off my chest because every time I just, you know, touch my chest, is this darn apron I have here. Hello? I think he hung up. Hello, hello? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm listening to you, but I really feel sad for you, sir. Well, you ain't praying for me. Well, you, okay, well... If, if pray for the church. Pray uh, for the Mormon church. If you want me to pray for you, I'll pray for you. I'm not going to pray for the Mormon church, because the Mormon church... Oh, man. ...as an, organi as an organization is, 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 is going to hell. Um, well... So... I ain't saying nothing, you know, you know, you just... Are you there, sir? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. The Heavenly Father, and what is your name again, sir? Uh, I can't think that well, I, you know. I, oh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's Joseph. Um, that's what my name is, uh, but, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, before I pray for you, I, I always like to use a verse before I pray, okay? All right. Okay. In Galatians chapter 2, verse 16, because you were talking about rules and regulations. Oh, let's go to the book of the Galatians again. Go ahead, go ahead. Galatians chapter 2, verse, verse 16. Yeah. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. Was that Galatians chapter 3, you said? Galatians chapter 2. Oh, all right. Eight. All right. Galatians chapter 2, verse 16. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, right. but by faith in Jesus Christ, even if we have believed in Christ Jesus, that we might be justified by faith in Christ, right. and, not, and not by the works of the law. Wow. For, for by the works of of the law, flesh shall not be justified. 
What do you say again? A flesh in my son? What? What was the last verse? Not by the works of the law, or by the works of the law, no flesh shall be justified. All right. All right. But if we, while we, while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves are found sinners as Christ therefore administers sin, certainly not. Well, I think that well, I think that we've been deceived from the by the Mormon Church. You know, we don't need these aprons. Then, if we if we can be justified by the law, then then just, then then you know, but we we don't need these aprons. Then sir, we don't need them. Sir, I want you. I, but, uh, you I, know, uh, I want you. I want you to be built on the faith of Jesus Christ, not by the not by the faith in, in Brigham Young or Joseph Smith. And uh, you know, pertaining to all those rules and regulations, that, mm -hmm. because look, because look what it says in 18. Mm -hmm. If I built again those things. Now wait a minute, I'm just rolling my wheelchair. Wait for a second, sir. I'm just trying to come a little bit to the window because you know, I, I wait for a second. There I go. All right. Now what'd you say? Okay, because in Galatians chapter 2, verse 18, if I continue on, it says, "For if I built again those things which I." Destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For though the Lord died to the law that I might live to God, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Christ. Christ is the center, is the center point of a person's faith and salvation. But Christ lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith. It doesn't say by works, by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Yeah. I do not, I do not, 21, and I leave you with this. Yeah. Do not accept, I do not set aside the grace of God if righteousness, if righteousness came through the law, then Christ died in vain. Isn't that beautiful, sir? Yeah, I, I, I remember. I'll let you. I'll let you go. I'll pray. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna mention this one Please. thing, uh, and uh, it, I, because I, it, I, Jesus I, did say. I'll, who, tell you, I'll tell you. I'll tell you this with sincerity and truth, and I'll even go down to my knees. Right. You, gotta, you gotta forget about Joseph Smith. You gotta forget about the Latter Day Saints, because you, you, you're. You're saying, oh, Joseph Smith did this, or Joseph Smith did that, or Joseph Smith. <laughs> Forget about Joseph Smith. It's it's what you know what? Joseph Smith died. He's burning in hell. Sir, I don't want you to burn in hell. Okay? You're saved through the righteousness of Christ, not by your works. So let me pray for you, okay, sir? And I'm praying on my knees, okay? All right. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Father, that you can give me this opportunity to glorify your name, to glorify your words to glorify your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for, for our sins, Lord. I thank you, Father, that we were not able to fulfill the law. We were not able um, to, 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 to be good on all our own standards, but we need to hold you up in your standards because your standards are perfect. Your blood and your sacrifice on the cross was perfect, Lord. Because in the blood there's life, and you shed that blood for us so that we can be shed from all our sins, Lord. Not through baptism, not through going out at 6 o'clock in the morning and, 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 and doing missionary work, but you gave us good works for your, for, for your righteousness. You prepared them beforehand, Lord. Not that we're going to do good works so that we can come closer to you. Not that we're going to join the church so we can come closer to you. Not that we're going to be the best people in this world that we can come closer to you, but that we can have faith in you and you alone because by faith, by loving you, by being born again, we are saved, Lord. And I just pray that this man may be touched, that you may touch him with your Holy Spirit, that his understanding may be open to the truth and not a lie of Satan, Father, because you are greater, Lord. You you crushed his head, that he bruised his heel, but but you are more powerful, Lord. And I just pray, Father, that 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 you help this man. You know his anxiety. You know, Lord, there's a lot of suicides in the Mormon Church, but you are faithful, Lord. You do not let anything happen unless you say so, Lord. No leaf falls from the from the tree unless you know that's going to fall. And I leave everything before you. In this conversation that we had. 
wasn't a mistake. It was to your glory and your honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Sir, sir thank you. I, I appreciate it. I know it was a long conversation, but um, please, again, I tell you, think about God and you, all right? Joseph Smith already died. Your church is a false religion. And I don't know what else to say except God loves you and I love you and I gotta let you go. Okay, God bless you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.